It's been two years of waiting. Justice will be delivered to the families of these four prison workers killed in a botched escape attempt. It's up to a jury now to decide if Michael Brady will live or die. He was found guilty yesterday in a case we have been following since the start. And now Brady is opening up, sharing more about his background and the days leading up to that deadly attack. Allie Weatherton is in Manio. It's a tell-all testimony straight from Michael Brady's mouth. I stabbed him like four to eight times. She was supposed to go down in one hit. For Brady, he didn't hold anything back. I wanted to escape right from, from the moment they uh, convicted me to 40 years. When he got a job in the sewing plant at the prison, Brady says he had access to several tools. If I needed to break down a pallet, I could go and get whatever tool I needed to break down that pallet. All I got to go up there and say, hey, I need a hammer. For and that's when he started thinking of a plan alone. Eventually, he says he included three other inmates. And all of a sudden, the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle just started getting put together. The plan started about three months before the attack. Brady made book bags to hold supplies and even made pants for all four men. Each of us had basic ideas and tasks and how it was supposed to go down and I almost called this whole thing off because I did not want to hurt Miss Darden. And on October 12, 2017, they carried out their plan. She had turned and she started to scream. That's when I punched her in the face. When I punched her in the face is when she fell down to the, to the floor. I hit uh, uh, Jeffrey Howe until he stopped moving. Um, I, can't, I don't know how many times I hit him with a hammer. They ran for the fences, but in the end, time. all four were caught. But there's only two possibilities that I wanted to happen on this thing. A is I escape and get my freedom. B is I get them to kill me and I still get my freedom. In Manio, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.